Hey everyone and welcome back to the garage. As promised, in this video I'm going to transform this antique pair of sheep shears into a nice set of kitchen knives. There's a lot of surface rust and some pretty significant pitting, but they should still clean up pretty nice. These sheep shears easily date back to the late 1800s and were made by George Wilkinson and Company, right out of Sheffield, England. Okay, first step is to take the angle grinder and cut these sheep shears into two separate knives. You can see the blades are at an angle to the handle. This was done to allow easier shearing of the sheep. We'll have to straighten these out. Okay, that's better. Blades are now in line with the handles. Now we can get to work knocking down some of this rust. With the rust starting to come off, you get a better picture of the kind of metal you're dealing with, how much pitting there really is. Notice that red coloration at the top of the handle. 
from where I used the blowtorch to heat the metal up. The steel is looking much better already. It's still going to need a bath and evaporate, but I'm happy with the way it's coming out so far. These sharp edges left over from the angle grinder will need to be taken care of. I'll take them over to the grinding wheel and knock off some of the sharpness. Since there was so much rust and pitting, I'll let the knife soak in the evapor rust overnight. The evapor rust did a good job dissolving all of that rust that was left on these knives. Now I'll take it over to the wire wheel, clean it up a bit and move on from there. One of the longest parts of this process is all the sanding to get rid of as much pitting as I can. I'll start at 80 grit and work my way up probably up to 1000 grit.
It is a really long process with all the sanding, two sides of each knife, but it's great to see the progress along the way. Shinier and shinier, smoother and smoother. And finally up to 1200 grit for the last pass. These knives have already come a long way. One more thing left to do, hit them on the buffing wheel with some white polishing compound. Finally, after five different grits of sandpaper and white polishing compound on the polishing wheel, I'll finally a proper shine on these knives. We'll get some wooden handles made. And the last thing to do will be a sharpened edge. These should work well for handles on the knives. These pieces of wood are from an antique yarn winder that I had. All they need is a little bit of shaping. Alright, I got the rough shape. Now for some filing and sanding to make it fit.
Even though I can sand the handles on the machine, I still like doing a lot of the work by hand. Beveled edges should make for a good grip and a nice clean look on the handles. pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Both the wood and the steel are pretty lightweight so it makes for a good knife. Now to mark and drill some holes for the brass pins.
I decided to drill the holes by hand because it was just too hard to clamp the knife together to hold on the drill press. Now I'll glue it up with some epoxy, clamp it, and let it sit overnight to dry. I'll check back on this tomorrow, we'll grind the pins down and put the finishing touches on it. I'll touch up the sanding marks and do the final polish in a minute.
that wraps up the build. All that's left is to put an edge on the blade and some boiled linseed oil on the wood. And there you go. Antique British sheep shears turned into a very usable set of kitchen knives. Here's a little before and after for you. Thanks again everyone for hanging out with me for another restoration from the garage. And remember, all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions really do help the channel to grow. So until the next time, I'll see you on the next one in the garage.